Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. I have searched high and low for a good concise tutorial on how to extend Mixamo animations and I believe I've come up with the quickest fastest solution that anyone can follow. You can turn this into this and it's quick easy and just takes a few simple steps. Now let's get started. First thing we need to do is download a Mixamo character in some sort of walk or run sequence or something that is similar and we'll download it. I'm sure everybody knows how to do that which I've already done and we're going to go into Blender and import that figure. So we'll start with a fresh Blender file and we will import our FBX as downloaded. And I believe I just got a walking sequence. We'll just let that come in. Once it's in, as you can see, when you press the space bar, it does its few steps and then it stops. So now we're going to extend that. I've got it set to 250 frames as standard and we're going to just go with that for now. And all we have to do is first of all open up the graph editor and as you can see everything is selected and that's exactly how it should be with your cursor inside here press shift E and make cyclic okay so we're first step is done second step see the blue line up here that is your Z axis your Z location click on any one of the points and hit L. Once L is hit everything will be selected. Once again hit Shift E and go Linear Extrapolation. And that's it. But once you hit Spacebar he's not doing it. What you need to do is under the Z location you have to click the monkey wrench and once that is clicked you've got yourself uh, an extended animation that will go on for as many frames as you need. It's that simple. Okay, let's try this with a different FBX character. We'll import a running sequence this time and see what we come up with. Uh, fast run will work. Once it's installed you can see that he runs a few steps and he is done. So we'll go into graph editor with everything selected and hit shift E make cyclic and once that is done you grab the one point on the Z location hit L that will grab everything you need and you hit shift E linear extrapolation and he should be good to go oh but wait all he does is to keep repeating the same sequence over and over again. What you need to do is in the Z location, click off the monkey wrench, and this guy will be running for his life for as long as you need. If you wanted to even change the timeline to something like a thousand frames, he will just keep on going and going and going. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, when I learned this process, I found it very useful. In fact, if you go on to my profile, you can find a quick video called Mission Critical where I used this process and it worked out very well. So have a good look at that one and feel free to subscribe to see other videos in the future because I will be making many many more. We have music, videos, animations, you name it onto my channel. So take a look, subscribe and hope to see you again soon.